My parents left the cotton fields of the South when I was eight or nine years of age and they moved to Wisconsin. And we didn't have much in those days. You see, my dad drank a lot and we lived in a trailer court. And in this trailer court, when I was 11 years old, I saw this beautiful, blonde-headed, blue-eyed girl. And I fell in love with her at 11 years of age. I pursued her until I was 20. And we married at 20. And we were married for 30 years and raised a daughter ourselves. She was my childhood sweetheart. I'd loved her since I was 11 years of age. And then, when I was 51, she died of cancer, and it nearly killed me. After Diane died, I went into a tailspin. I was so depressed, I didn't know what I was going to do. About six weeks after her death, I went to Florida to visit my parents who were still alive at that time. And I stayed a day or two with them and I just could not sit still. And I told my dad, I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave. He said, where are you going? I said, I don't know, dad. I just got to get out and get away. So I got in my car and I started driving, just crisscrossing back and forth across the state of Florida. I ended up at St. Petersburg Beach and spent the night. I got up the next morning and went jogging along the beach. And as I came back to my vehicle, a lady of the night pulled in next to me. And I looked at her and she opened up her blouse and she had absolutely nothing underneath her blouse. And she gave me that come on smile and she motioned for me to come on over to her. But I was hurting so deeply, I wanted nothing to do with a prostitute. I was so depressed that I got into my car and I drove across this large bridge called the Skyway Bridge. I didn't realize it at the time, but literally hundreds of people have jumped to their death from that bridge. And when I neared the top of that bridge in my vehicle, I heard something say to me, stop the car and jump to your death. And as I was contemplating suicide, the Spirit of God spoke to me and said, don't quit. Your daughter Christy and your granddaughter Cameron are still alive and they need you. And friend, that voice that spoke to me as I was nearing the crest of that bridge, gave me the strength to carry on. Now, I've been a drug and alcohol abuser when I was a young man. And oftentimes when people go through tragedy or heartache or grief, they go back to alcohol and drugs. But I didn't. I went to church. I prayed. I read my Bible. And sometimes, some months later, God allowed me to meet another lady and to marry again. And friend, I want to just encourage you that if you've been through pain, if you've been through sorrow, if you've been through suffering, don't quit. God still has a plan and a purpose for your life. And I also want to encourage you not to go back to those things that you did before, not to go back to the bars and not to go back to alcohol and drugs. And if you're struggling with those types of things, I want to invite you to go to our webpage, our ministry webpage, addictionknockout.com. We have compiled a list of every faith-based program in America, and I want to give it to you absolutely free if you're struggling with alcohol or drugs addictionknockout.com. We've also produced a recovery support program called Addiction Knockout that you'll find there. My friend,
Someone once said, you may not be somebody in this life. And just like me, you may be nobody special, but to somebody, you are the world. You see, when I was driving across that bridge, I realized that I was nobody special. And the world probably would care less if I jumped to my death. But that daughter and that granddaughter needed me. That little girl needed her papa. And so I've had the privilege of watching that young lady grow up who is now a freshman at the University of Tennessee. And then I've seen another you know, little granddaughter come along well that's 11 years of age. I've uh, remarried and seen my wife have numerous children. So there can be joy. There can be happiness after sorrow. So don't give up. Don't quit. God still has a plan and a purpose for your life.